Imagine a region where van life becomes effortless. Despite not being the richest or most advanced countries, camping and outdoor activities face fewer restrictions here. Law enforcement focuses on other issues, leaving remote camping areas and rural parking spots unpatrolled. Wild camping is common, so there's no social stigma attached to van life. Outside of the cities, there are no crowds, just simple, peaceful beauty. Maybe not the most famous of spots, but plenty of diverse options, especially if you're seeking solitude in nature. Welcome to van life in Eastern Europe. This is absolutely stunning, like this entire riverbed. But there's like one fisherman here because it's off season. We have this whole place for ourselves. It's awesome. It's like dream camping. I like this grill a lot. That's good. <laughs> Whoa, you put it together so fast. I'm just gonna have this ready, so if we do need to record with it, then you can just press play and it's already set up. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout today's video, you'll notice our new Anchor Solix C800 Plus. This innovative design has been a blast to test out, and it's the first portable power station with integrated three-mode camping lights. I didn't realize how convenient these lights would be, especially when coupled with the extendable pole, all stored within the body of the battery. During the day, we've been attaching our Insta360 camera to the pole to capture all sorts of moments, including when we're driving or cooking in the van. And then in the evenings, we've been using the lights around the campfire and even can attach our projector for an outdoor movie night, all while we charge our phones and our camera batteries. The high power output could even fuel various appliances like outdoor refrigerators or coffee makers, and users can manage the battery control conveniently via the app, accessible through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. Okay. Cool, be safe. I'll film my clip here. We've been working on something so incredible past few months, and it's the most challenging project I've ever worked on. If you like the conversion of this camper van we've done in the past, that full on felt like a warm up project for what came next. And I hope to blow your mind in the following video where we bring it all up. One big progress we've achieved in the past few months. Our bikes are street legal in the United States of America. So now for all the bikes we offer, we will charge extra for signal lights, honk, uh, tail light, front light, and making it street legal in the United States for you. So whether it's a cyber bike or e-bike 5, contact us and uh, we'll help you out. Yeah. We're currently exploring Hungary, just outside of Budapest, and we've been completely alone at every campsite. While the natural landscapes of this region may not have the flashy fame of Italy or France, they've got their own special charm. Out here you won't get that Instagram shot with a coconut, your booty out, and a massive waterfall in the background. It's a simple beauty, completely untouched by mass tourism. It's the place you can escape into raw nature with the ones you love without being bothered by restrictions or breaking the bank. There's something I would like to share. So maybe somebody remembers that we had a boiler tank and heat exchanger from the engine coolant 
under the kitchen well that turned out to be not smart to rely on a relay the relay just failed me we turned it on one evening and uh, then we turned it off before going to bed in the middle of the night explosion steam <laughs> we thought it, we were in a fire everything started steaming so like water got out we didn't know how to take it apart how to get to it it was difficult anyways I found a boat boiler that uh, we installed after as a replacement and that is pretty good. It's much bigger, it's 20 liters. We both just took a shower and we only heated up the water when driving here. So I would like to show you for some of you curious souls how this works. I found this valve that is um, special for coolant, for a more aggressive liquid. And also this one, it's this one you can see hose coming in, hose coming out. What I do with this, I redirect the flow. So this is my little thermostat right here. It shows on the left side the coolant temperature and on the right side is the hot water temperature. So this is just a switch uh, that helps me redirect the coolant from the engine and from the radiator to my hot water tank. So it significantly helps with cooling down the engine and it's a passive heat that we use for utility water. It's pretty awesome. It seriously is easy to install and it warms up to 50 degrees maybe in 20-30 minutes. One big difference versus uh, commonly installed uh, options like this is that I'm not heating up the engine forever because I'm also heating up the water. That's the biggest benefit, that I actually turn it on once the engine is on or when I want to. It's not always flowing through the tank, even when it's cold. On the other hand, sometimes when we're plugged in and we have that heated up with an electric uh, heating spiral, I just turn it on right away and speed up warming up the engine. <laughs> How is it this warm? 5th of March. Showering outside. <laughs> this grill is cool. <laughs> I'm debating every time <laughs> that I should probably sit down and start drawing something different. As a fun. This one we just downloaded, this model, but I think I would design something cool. is what I was doing when you were showering. Nice. Oh, oops. Yours is upside down. That's the extent of your suffering. Mm. <laughs> the smokiness from the fire and the guac. That's the best burger I've ever had in my life. That's a different level of meat on the fire like this. Okay, I'm putting this down, I'm hungry. Wow, that is beautiful. <laughs> and this... Mm. I heard a crunch. Awesome. Sounded good. <laughs> it's so good. 10 out of 10. I'm very happy with this. Mm. It's 
a little too early to go to bed. So we'll do this in the meantime. So warm tonight. I can just sleep in this and some shorts. Insulation paid off. What kind of smoothie are you doing? Everyday smoothie. Well, I want one. Well... <laughs> <laughs> On such a beautiful day, instead of working inside the van, we're able to come right down to the shoreline and crunch through a few hours of computer work. And that is thanks to our Anchor Solex C800 Plus, offering 600 watts of power across 10 different ports, including USB and USB Type-C. It provides ample charging capacity, guaranteed to last me 10 years. Plus, it comes with a five-year warranty. Its hyper-flash recharging technology ensures a rapid 100% recharge in just 58 minutes. After driving, cooking, and sleeping in the van, it's so nice to actually be able to work outside and enjoy the environment, even if it is a little bit chilly. <laughs> We've been driving for 30 minutes now. I think I deflected the coolant in like five minutes after we started and we're at 47 degrees Celsius. It's nice for showering for sure, but mainly it's for dishes because greasy dishes with cold water is impossible. And I'm really happy the battery takes us much further that we don't have to be using the 1300 watt spa heating spiral to heat up the water. We can, but we don't have to. We've been traveling between intense working stints at the workshop as we prepare to launch our new product and transition to the States later this year. For most of our trips lately, we've left without much of a plan or an agenda, which means that spotting a massive bird statue off the highway changes the entire dynamic of the day. That is not the face I would have expected. <laughs> there were no signs in English throughout the park, but from what I can gather, the Turl bird is a powerful symbol of freedom and strength in Hungarian folklore. Legend has it that Emeshe, daughter of the sky god, dreamt of the Turl bird descending from the heavens, and this mystical bird somehow impregnated her with a son named Almos, who later became the first ruler of the Hungarian tribes. Guided by the Turl's divine guidance, Almos led his people on a journey across Central Europe's rugged terrain until they settled in the fertile lands of the Carpathian Basin, where they established the Kingdom of Hungary. Now that I've seen the Turl, I'm noticing it everywhere. It's interesting how this is a big flatland farming field and then out of a blue you have this mountain or rocky formation and this beautiful park on the top. It's, a, it's interesting and it's a really nice park. Burrito-sized fajita. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. That was a splash in my mouth. <laughs> I actually kept the kitchen relatively clean too. To do all this, this is how it looks in here right now. Not exactly clean, but for after a meal, not too shabby. After lunch, we ventured deeper into the park to see the Turl Caves, natural limestone formations used as shelters by prehistoric peoples and later inhabited by medieval settlers. Despite their rich heritage, the caves remain publicly accessible, completely free and unregulated, inviting visitors to explore without constraints. Most international travelers don't come up this way, but the locals certainly do. And on such a beautiful Thursday night, the park started to fill and we opted to find somewhere quieter to spend the evening. Everything's fine, I'm just moving the grill. I'm setting up a date night for us, honey. Ready to see the most ridiculous screen ever. 